<laughs> Brilliant. Oh my God. That is so weird. It's like his... I don't know. It's just, that voice doesn't belong to him. It's really weird. His voice is good. He's going to do well. Wow. He was good. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> His mum's crying. Good. Well done. Thank you. Uh, yeah, it was a good audition. I mean, I like what you did with the song. It was effortless. It does sound a little bit forced at times. Yeah. But you got a good image. I liked it, yeah. I suggested the opposite Have of what Louis said. No, never in my life. Yeah. I, I honestly think that you're singing totally wrong. Why? You're singing right at the back of your neck. You're not singing. I like his voice. Yeah. But you do have great likability. You really He's do. He's got a good voice. This is always right, because I realize you're 20 years old, you already have a rasp and a grit. He says he sings to the wee hours. I like your voice a lot though. You give a really good instrument to work with. I think he's good. But the shit they put through. I like you, and I think you've got a real likability about you there. And like the chicks, and not just the chicks are gonna love you. The chicks and not just the chicks are gonna love you. And then he looked at Louis Walsh. He nodded at me, going. <laughs> it's a yes. He's good. Nicole. He had like a real voice, like not like a pop voice, like a rock voice. God, Chang can talk about singing. Look at the way Ozzy Osbourne fucking sings. <laughs> They want to beat like originality out of people, don't they? I like Manchester. I think Manchester. Excuse me. Okay, here's a girl. She looks young. She's got very tight jeans on, green, ripped. I'm Olivia Garcia. She's got long, blondy brown hair. Big eyebrows. I have a turtle in my room. I like turtles. Random. She's kind of cute. She looks like the girl next door. Bubbly. Yeah. I'm Olivia Garcia. I'm 16. I'm a school girl. God, she looks so young. I'm here with my mum and dad, my little sister, and my grandparents. She looks about 12. I sit in the room and I sort of give her. Bits of feedback, but she makes me massively proud. I remember watching the show with my mum and dad, seeing Leo and Lewis win. I was only six then, and I just cried. I just when she won, it was great. To be the expert to win, it would just be out of this world. Like, it's funny so to think you can have sex at that me, age. <sighs> terrifying, well, really. If I do, I'll probably have a party, I think. <laughs> Alright, should we do this for Bubbly? <laughs> <laughs> okay, Olivia. Okay. Off you go. <laughs> like a crop top on I think she might have um, camel toe I'm not sure her voice is very deep for how small and young she looks the mum's crying Louis is either smiling or he's got wind. Simon's licking his lips. This song is a complete racket. Like that. (gasps) 
She's good though. She was good. Thank you. Now, that's an unusual song to choose. Mm -hmm. Were you from Wigan? Yeah. <laughs> so, Olivia Garcia from Wigan uh, sings New York. Yeah. <laughs> As the X Factor. Sharon? Yeah, I like you very much. Thank um, you. I, I just. Keep looking at this song choice, though. You're very serious with your choices. Mm -hmm. You don't yeah. like to sing anything a bit lighter. Yeah, I, I do, but I just um, do my best to show the song voice. Yeah. Like, much yeah. Like... What are our other song yeah, choices? Really Morrissey, Bright Eyes. But um, I, I didn't love that song choice for you. I felt like another song. All right, it's not a song choosing competition. As Gary Barlow once said. Today's audition. Tell you what, Olivia, what we're trying to say is be who you are. Because you've got a great voice. Thank you. Olivia, um, I think you look like the perfect pop star, to be honest. Let's go. You look like a pop star? Yes or no? 100% yes, this girl's really talented. Thank you. Sharon? She'll go a long way, I think. It's a yes from me, Olivia. Nicole? What's up with Nicole lately? She's acting weird. I think that her medication's either not the right level or... I don't know. Something about her seems off. Olivia, take the advice. Because you're really good. Mina. Thank you. Thank you. Well, happy yeah. I'm moaning her for being too serious. There's nothing wrong with being serious. But she's one to watch. See you, Rika. Yay! It's competition time, and here's another. Okay, so last night we thought they were going to have someone serious and boring at the end, and they had that Friday night dude who was quite funny. So, what are they going to surprise us with this time? Probably. The usual sub story. Welcome back to the X Factor. And whilst everything is in full swing here in London, my judges are taking a trip down memory lane. Now we can get some really old clips. Judges are looking at an iron pad. Oh my god. Look at Sharon. Oh dear god. That's a cousin or something. Her hair looks dreadful. Okay. Dermot's sp speaking to a lady. She's black. She's got a hat on. She's got a denim jacket on. Dermot recognises her from somewhere. Nine years. Has Dermot been doing it for this? Dermot looks cute back then. <laughs> Oh, there's Danny Minogue. Oh, Sharon looks weird. Oh, my God. Simon looks weird. Shit. Danny Minogue. Oh, gross. Oh, my God. Louis looks so weird. Oh, my God. What have they all had done to their faces? That is so strange. How weird to, like, look almost younger than you did nine years ago. It's weird, isn't it? Where's she been for nine years then, this girl? Simon looks skinnier back then. Sharon looks older. When I didn't make it to the next stage, I cried my eyes out about it. And I remember thinking to myself, oh my God, this is what I really want to do. After X Factor, I ended up going to college, working a day and night job, and then on the side still have time for music. I got around a lot of um, open mic circuits and uh, I did a lot the of old open mic night. I started my just trying to build my confidence. And I actually do like open mic nights. So I used to go see my friend at one quite a lot. It was back, quite cool. And she's a in a quite pressure. a big band now, so. Especially after Just the goes to show. Because the biggest question is going to be is she better? I want to show them that I'm ready. So I'm like, okay, let's move to the next I think you're ready night. after nine so years. I can sing and I can meet Beyonce and we can be best friends. And that's it. Running, running, running. Hello. What is she wearing though? She looks like she's dressed out the Lost Property box. Thank you. Oh, okay, what's it's the opposite name? of what I'm I just Lisa said. Lamona. 
And Elisa Lamola. Yes. That's a pop star's name, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> and where are you from? I am originally. Simon's not even pretending okay. he remembers her. She Canada. actually looks better than she and did nine years ago. Are you married or do you have a job or what? No, I'm not married. I'm very much single. Are you asking me out? Is this what's I happening? would. Mm -hmm. If I was single, of course I would. <laughs> uh, so, you came to London. Yes, I met you guys. Where? I auditioned in Cardiff in 2007. And what happened? I got down to girls, top 12, and then I was sent home because you guys didn't feel I was ready, and I agree. Yes. <laughs> Mm. I remember. Ah, uh, Shara, don't lie. Thank you. You still okay. look like a little doll. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay. And now you feel more so do you, Sharon, apparently. Thunderbirds yeah, swap it ready. according to my mum. Good luck, Annalisa. God, they're dragging us out. Fucking hell, man. Nicole just winked at her. I wish you could see what she's wearing because I can't work it out. It looks like she's done one of those challenges in Big Brother where you have to put on as many different clothes as possible. Or like what you do before you're about to play strip poker. She put on 500 layers. I haven't played strip poker since I was about 16. Probably for the best. Her shoes are awful as well. They look like hooves. Like what about her voice? Oh, yeah. <laughs> well. I mean, she has got a good voice. I just feel like I've heard it all before. Like, I couldn't actually care less. Could you? She's obviously going to go through. Nicole's smiling. Sharon's smiling. I wonder what Danny Minogue thinks. Is she regretting not putting her through nine years ago? Yeah. I don't when everyone liked Danny Minogue and thought she was good. <laughs> she wasn't. Your voice, then I love it now. Thank you. But you obviously, you know, you're a woman now, not a little girl. And it's great. Thank you so much. I like you. Because Thank you're bubbly you. and you're happy. Bubbly, uh oh. Code word for fuck. No one's called me bubbly in ages. Right it's really fucking annoying when people call you bubbly because you know they mean either annoying or fat, or in my case, both. Thank you. I'm so happy that you came back. Maybe it's because I'm not blonde you know, anymore. People don't call me bubbly. And classic, That's good. And especially with women like Adele out who are singing real songs, timeless songs. You can make real a songs. Beautiful record for and real you people. Have the best voice in the entire competition that I've heard. Oh, relax. In relax. Let's not go overboard. How does that feel? <laughs> Thank you. Okay. She just like looked over her shoulder as if Louis. Nicole had said that to someone else who wasn't her. Your very first. Yes. It's good to see you back home. Yes. So yes. Thank you. It's rightfully yours. Yes. Thank you so much. You have. Yes. 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 Sorry, I don't want to me. <laughs> Trying to like stay enthusiastic. She's got this built in soul with her voice. She's got a built in soul. Mine's um, entirely removable, so disposable, in, even. She's got it. I am not having history repeat itself. I am going to go and win this competition. It's over. Oh, there are more editions next week. Jesus. So thanks so much for listening. I really, really appreciate it so much. You don't know. Um, yeah, I hope you enjoyed.